video. I know I don't vi do videos very often, so Banded Wendy over in YouTube land convinced me to do more videos. So here I am. Um, I wanted to talk to you about uh, a few things that I got in San Francisco at the meetings with Allergan. One of them was this 200 plus page aftercare document as well as information about the lap band. I'm not going to talk to you about this. We all know this in, in lap band land. What I want to talk to you about is nutrition after bariatric surgery. This is a 10 page document. Who knew such a document existed? I know we are all very confused because we all get different nutrition advice from our surgeons. Some people say eat this, some people say eat that. This is coming directly from the lap band manufacturer. So are you ready for this? Let's check it out. Um, the one thing that I, I find just early on in the presentation in the booklet here is it says we need to be self-monitoring. It says right here, self-monitoring. Diet, record food intake daily. Limit certain foods or food quantity. It says to check our weight more than once a week. It also says 13 to 1400 calories per day should be our food intake limit. Um, it also says we should burn through physical activity 2500 to 3000 calories a week. They say that's four miles, walking four miles a day. It's a lot of activity. Um, so again, limiting to 1400 calories a day. Think about that. That's what lap band says. That's what the Allergan folks say. And then here it says, it talks about limit meal size. Again, it says three meals per day, two are okay. Let's say that again. Three meals per day, two are okay. Uh, it also says limit yourself to 1,400 calories a day. They say that's similar to a two-year-old toddler. So maybe we need to eat like toddlers. Um, it also has a picture here of a plate where half should be protein, one quarter veggies and salad, and one quarter carbohydrates. Is that what your plate looks like? I know mine doesn't always look like that. Um, just looking for other information that was presented in this booklet. One thing it talks about here is B1 deficiency. We don't hear about this very much on the blogs, but this is totally something that I experienced with uh, my labs back in November. My B1 level was at 2, normal is 8. And it actually says it's a syndrome that's a serious nutritional complication. And it has a, the syndrome has a name which I cannot pronounce and I will put it at the notes on the bottom of the blog. But it has association with a poor diet. So I guess maybe I was not getting what I needed in regards to my vitamins. So definitely check your B1 levels if your surgeon recommends that. And then lastly, on the very last page, it talks about how important, again, vitamins are. It recommends 400 micrograms of folate, B12, B6, B1, iron, zinc. Again, it talks about the folate and then calcium and vitamin D. So makes you wonder, are all those vitamins out there providing what we need as lap banders? Anyway, that's this awesome document right here. Perhaps I'll scan something in and put it on the blog. But I'm off to Zumba now, and I'll catch you all later. Bye.